Hello YouTube, and today I'm going to be doing a video on uh, how to extend like how far your render goes to. Um, someone by the name of Victor Ochoa. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. But that's his name right there. Uh, he asked. What opens up? Next, we need to go to his channel. I just want to go on the question. Okay. I was wondering if you know how to render movies more than 250 frames, because I can't change the frames, so the animation of the flag will last longer. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you how to do that today. And he actually specifically mentions the flag, so I'll just quickly open up my flag. Uh, where is it again? Um, it's all my crap uh, blender stuff. Oh, where did I put blender stuff? Sorry if this is um a little weird, but uh, my computer got wiped the other day, so my mum had to take it in because she, I don't know what happened and I lost all my programs and everything but I kept all my saved files especially my ones for Blender so uh, don't worry about any of that but I lost all my files so um, yeah I'm just gonna make Blender things a bookmark because I can and let's go saved files flag Man, I really need to clean up this. Uh, weapons and stuff. Flag, flag, here. Yeah. I think it's, oh, it's fire. Oh, flag. Okay, open Blender file. So, um, yeah, there's the flag. Just play it. Goes, does some good animation. Yeah. Cool. Cool texture. It does have a texture. So, um, yeah. That how to make it so it lasts, say, uh, whoa, he didn't actually specify how long you want it to last, but that there is about 9 seconds, let's make this, um, 300. I don't want it too big, because if it's too big, then my computer just, well, it just takes long to render full stop, so uh, yeah. But uh, once you change it down here from end to 300 or your desired frames, you think you have to go over to physics and go to cloth cache. And you see here you have to change this as well. So this will be at 300. Um, just checking to see if that's it. Check to see if it's. And yeah, just change that to 300 there. And stupid next door neighbor's dog's barking. Um. Don't worry if you can't keep me up at the moment while I'm doing this because I'm just looking to make sure that that's it. Because as you can probably tell I haven't been on Blender for a little while. And um, yeah, sorry I haven't made a few videos in a while. I've just been busy and yeah, my computer was in um in the shop getting fixed up. So uh yeah, just make sure you change the end down here to 300 and go to cloth cache and change it to the desired things there. The reason I still have star at 1 here and start at 25 here is because it will start there but the start of the food video is crap the first 25 odd frames it's just crap but at 25 it starts to get better so I just set for that there that looked like that looks so bad right there but uh, after that it looks pretty good, except for at some points, looks kind of weird. And let's just keep going until 300. See, it, now it will stop at 300. So if you just change this here, the end, to 300, and don't change it over here, let's. Now, to tab, tab. I like that of someone that that actually gets that actually deletes the um 
rendered animation if you tab in edit mode and tab out but um yeah just play through it again and it should yeah it will stop at 250 it won't go any further than 250 see the timeline will go but it won't the flag won't move anymore so make sure you change the cloth cache and this is the same for cloth uh, fluid, smoke, soft bodies and a lot of other things make sure you check the cache to see if there's any of this end stuff so yep just saying check it just make sure because you don't want to be rendering an animation and have frames doing anything so just putting it out there but um once you have this set to 300 and this to 300 we can render, render out animation as much as I'm regretting I don't really want to do it at the moment because it will take forever and that flag absolutely looks absolutely messed up right at the start my computer is actually rendering this out pretty fast at the moment but I'm still gonna pause the video and come back but I do not know what this exit status is it's pissing me off but um also if this video is lagging like badly uh... sorry about that i haven't had a chance to set up my camp studio settings and all that yet i just put on some base, pretty basic settings but um... if this video is like really laggy or some crap like that i will fix it up don't worry about that but um... yeah i'll be back so uh, yeah okay yeah i'm back and this just finished rendering through I don't know how long it took although I think it tells me how long it took no it doesn't but roughly I don't know but um as you see here if you can see it I, I'm not too sure you can but it says frame 300 so it's gone all the way through to 300 now I'm gonna see if Okay, apparently I did save it. So this should be, it says 11 seconds. So, um, sounds about right. Uh, you go, it's lagging a little on my computer because I'm running Cam Studio. But as you see, works quite well. That goes for 11 seconds. The basic thing you need to uh, remember is that 25 frames is approximately a second. So, um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's 11 seconds. 25 to th 25 from frame 25 to frame 300 is 25 sec uh, is 11 seconds. So, um. If I ramp that up to say 600, that'd be what 22 seconds. It also take a lot longer to render out, but um, that's just generally what you have to do. You have to change this end time here. This one right here. You can type whatever value you want in there, and then y for certain things you have to change in the the cache tab, the cache tab, um, the end here. I'll quickly show you smoke. I think it's flow. No, domain. Yeah, domain. Okay, with smoke, I'm not going into high detail with this. I'm just going to show, tell you what you have to do. As well as smoke cache, see, you have to turn that to. That would be 300. But if you want high res, you also have to turn the. You have to also have to turn that to the same amount. So uh, keep that in mind when you're doing smoke smoke slash fire I'm not sure what it's like with fluid um, uh, fluids completely different but um I'll do a different video on that but um yes yeah, so generally all you have to remember is to just check the cache make sure it's what you want it to be and change the end time down here because if you just change this and not this if you change the cache one, it will keep rendering till that frame, 
but if you don't change this down here the animation will stop at the frame it says to stop at so uh, keep that in mind when you're doing it and I hope this solved your question um, uh, I'm not going to say your name since it's pro I probably say it wrong but it's like Victor Rayo Chow uh, yeah sorry I can't pronounce it but um yeah so uh thanks for watching and uh comment so uh yeah thanks bye